Welcome! In this video I'm going to be doing a repair on these Harman Kardon HK195 multimedia speakers. So if you find this video helpful and you want to use the repair parts that I use in this video, I'll put a link to those below in the description. So this repair is already done, but I'm going to jump back into where I was repairing it. The problem was that the capacitors on the amplifier were bad. There was one that was bad, but I ended up replacing three, and that fixed the problem. I'll talk more in depth about how to get these apart as I put them back together, but I'll give you a quick overview. You want to pull this off. You can use a plastic like putty knife or something to get this off. It's partially glued in place. And then you have two screws here. You have the bottom two speaker screws and these two screws in the bottom. And those are the screws that hold this together. Then you can take it apart and then you can pull the circuit board out. Now it is kind of held captive by the split bushing. So you put a pry tool under there and pull that out. And then this can all slide out. Now this wire will have to stay in here. So you'll have the circuit board out, but you have the wire hanging off passing through this. So let's cut to the circuit board where I'm doing the repair and go from there. So I pulled the amplifier out of the speaker. So when you'd plug this in, it would make a very loud, low frequency noise from the speaker. So I thought it might be some of the caps. So I took out these three capacitors and it ended up being the large one. So this is a 3300 microfarad 25 volt capacitor. And then the other ones are 1000 microfarad 15 volt capacitors. So I'm going to try replacing these and see if it fixes my problem. So interestingly, I already had the smaller capacitors in my stash. So I will be replacing those since I have them. And then I had to order some of the larger ones. And if you're doing this repair, I'll put links to these both in the description. So these are electrolytic capacitors. So there is a polarity. So I took these out with a desoldering tool and then used some desoldering braid to clean them up. So I'll put the new cap in. I'll go to the back side and I'll bend the leads out to kind of hold it in place. And I'm lining up that stripe with the white arrow on the circuit board. So now I'll fire up the soldering iron and get these soldered. Okay, I got those soldered. Now I don't claim to be any kind of expert at soldering, but I think I got good joints there. So now I'll cut the leads off. Okay, so there we have the repair. Now I'll test it out. Okay, so I have the amplifier here. I'll plug in the speaker. Make sure it's off. Okay, and I'll plug this into an iPhone for an audio source. So let's hit the power turn this on. Now this is open, so I'm making sure not to touch anything in here. So before we had buzzing, let me play the audio. And that's working. So it looks like we fixed it. Now these capacitors in here can be charged up, so I have to be very careful with this. I'll disconnect the speaker, and I'll start putting this back together. So I'm going to put the speaker back in the front, and to take this apart, you'll do these steps in reverse. I'm just going to put the top two Phillips screws in. Okay, so I left the bottom two out. The terminals I did put at the bottom, I can't remember if they were at the bottom before, but I'm guessing they were. So the circuit board wire is going through the case, and I left that in there. And I'll show you how I got that out. So I'll slide this back in. And you want to line up the ports with the holes. Now if we go in the back here, there was a split bushing that was in there, so I will be putting that back in. But first I'll get the front on. So I need to connect up the speaker, so I'll do that. And you can't really go wrong because one is wider than the other. So I'll line everything back up. I'll press it together. It should go back together fairly easily. Everything's lining up. Now I need to put screws in. So the bottom two speaker screws hold the case together. So you want these tight, but not too tight where you strip out the plastic. But you don't want it to rattle either. And then we have two screws up top here. 
and then we have two screws down here. And I'm using a number two Phillips screwdriver. I had a little plug in the subwoofer port, and then I'll put these little split bushings in. So to get those out, you just put some kind of sharp pry tool under them and then pull them out. And then we have the front grill. So this had some kind of like hot glue in a couple of the parts, but you just take a pry tool like a plastic putty knife or something and pull this off and then this will just press right back on. And now it's done, ready to go. So that's repairing the Harman Kardon HK195 multimedia speakers. These are almost like iconic multimedia speakers for their time. They were everywhere, so it's kind of nice to give them a second life. I really don't know how they compare to modern multimedia speakers, but they have that nice retro vibe, so I'll find a use for them. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.